first of all, I want to start off with the last game. Um, at the very beginning, you had the, the bot lane fight, you know, the 2v2, and you managed to get the, the double kill. Uh, what was kind of going through your head right now, and how did you know you could take that play? Okay, uh, we knew that our 2v2 were stronger, but uh, there's a Tom Kench factor that kind of uh, has a really good peel. And actually, I was kind of lucky because I got one kill with Ignite, I guess, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but Poppy has uh, so much, so big amount of damage. And I was kind of able to pull it out because of Poppy's basic, Poppy's basic damage. And yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I noticed uh, watching some of your games before MSI that Poppy is really big pick for you guys. Uh, you like to play at top and support. Um, other regions have kind of strayed from the Poppy support. Yes. What makes it appealing to you? Well, when people played Poppy support, especially in Korea, they played it um, with tanky runes and mastery. But I play Poppy with really aggressive uh, mastery and runes. Um, it kind of gives so much kill pressure, especially at level two, because if you can just stun someone, with Ignite, he's 100% uh, dead. And I actually rather play Bart, but it's kind of banned every game. I hope I will be able to play in the next games. Yeah, I've noticed they have been kind of hitting you with the Barb ban. <laughs> Uh, you also play Elise, like these very aggressive yes. picks. Um, and when I watch you guys play, it's you're often leading the charge. Um, how does the dynamic work to set to set you up to make these kinds of plays and to be very aggressive? Well, to be honest, I rather play champions like Bart, Poppy, Elise instead of um, Alistar Brom, which is meta. Um, I feel like these champions are more fun. And if you play them good, it's more rewarding because you are winning uh, not just because you WQ, um, but also you are good with uh, mechanically. Mm, I don't know if I answered the question, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. But, uh, no, it's, uh, it's good. Do you think that um, you guys are punished in any way because you don't, don't necessarily play, play meta? Or? Uh, because I don't play Alistair and Pram? Uh, because you play... You stray more towards these um, aggressive picks mm -hmm. or picks that aren't necessarily meta in general, picks that you like to okay. play. Um, to be honest, in the MSI, they are the like, best teams of the world. And our only chance to win is going aggressive, getting ahead early game, snowballing the game. So I kind of need to play these kind of champions if we want to have a chance. And it didn't work out so far, but we have more teams to play against. And I hope eventually we will win some games. Uh, speaking of... Uh, yeah, it was actually pretty close against Royal, especially for a while. Uh, did you expect it to be this close or um, things like this? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I know that um, we kind of like chance to win, but I feel like we can win. I was feeling like we could win even against SKT. Even, I know it wasn't even close, but, you know, it's just a feeling. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, talking to some people going into the, the IWCI, um, you weren't necessarily, you were among pe teams that people were talking about, but weren't necessarily hard favorites. Do you feel yes, like um, people underestimated you? Do you feel like you were definitely going to win that tournament? I mean, of course, I feel like people are underestimating us. But, um, you know, we have nothing to lose. If I lose against SKT, I don't lose anything because everyone is expecting it. So it's kind of in favor of us. But if we win, it will be really big. <laughs> Do you think that maybe if you win, this will create, like, higher expectations for a wild card? Or? I mean, Im imagine wildcard region making it out of the group stage and mm -hmm. uh, guaranteeing a spot at the worst. It would be really huge. Mm. Do you think that that's definitely something that you guys can accomplish? I mean, we believe that we can accomplish it, but I mean, we are working really hard for it, to be honest. We are trying our best, but sometimes it's just not enough. Well, it seems like you have uh, at least a pretty good attitude towards coming and um, like pa playing things that you think are good or that you feel comfortable on. Um, is that kind of Supermassive's approach, just focus on comfort, play your game? Yes. Uh, as Supermassive, we, instead of denying enemies weak side, we try to play around our strong side because we think this is the best way and easiest way to win. So we play our comfort picks and comfort comps and try to make it work.
So are you less likely maybe to ban out things that the enemy team is really strong against and just ban things that you particularly don't like to play? Yeah, so far we banned the uh, things we don't like and it will go like this, but um, some bans might change. Of course. And uh, I noticed, you know, you played SKT last time. The Sickness sort of had a surprise for yes. Faker. Uh, <laughs> did you have any plans like this and decide not to go with them? Or I mean, I was thinking about roaming at mid some point, but <laughs> it couldn't. I mean, I couldn't really do it. I mean, we couldn't kill Faker, but at least we stole Baron this time. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like four kills, you know. <laughs> <laughs> And finally, I think uh, we guys have definitely demonstrated that overall you are at a, a higher level than maybe some other people had expected. Um, what's kind of your goal like for the entire tournament? Uh, to be honest, for our first goal is getting out of the group stage. And I know we just need to win like four or five games for that. And it's really hard, but we will try our best to make it happen. All right. Well, I think you've demonstrated that it's definitely possible. So um, good luck for the rest of the thank tournament. You. And thank you very much. Thank you so much.